After gathering hours of research, I have put together the best way to creating your own soil in just three steps. With a secret bonus tip at the end of this video. The first step to creating infinite soil is to have the right mixture of greens and browns. Let me explain. Greens are a more fleshy material like food scraps, grass clippings, and unwanted weed. Browns, on the other hand, are more carbon content, making a drier material. Example of browns are leaves, twigs, stems, and hay. Asterisk, asterisk, the second asterisk, asterisk step is what I like to call breakdown. For the fastest results, you would have to break down the compost by either cutting or grinding. When doing this, it will help the beneficial bacteria and bugs break down the soil much faster. If you want to add beneficial bacteria to your compost, you can use something you can find in your house. Poo. No, not that kind by instead used animal droppings from chickens and rabbits to cows. But not dogs. Why you may ask? Well, dog can carry diseases and parasites that can further harm the compost instead of growing it. If you don't have any animals or just find this part gross, you can just add coffee grounds. And the third step is to turn the stinky pile of sh**. This will help oxygenate the compost, giving fresh air to the beneficial bacteria. By doing this step, you can take weeks and even months of time off decomposition, giving you dirt faster. You can rotate the soil every couple of weeks. These three steps will guarantee successful results in your compost, but don't leave yet because I have a bonus tip that will give you unlimited dirt. Oh, sh the secret tip is to add water. Yeah, water. Easy. Let me explain. Water will boost the time to make soil by 45%. The water will attract more bugs and beneficial bacteria to your compost, but adding too much water can cause significant problems. The problem of adding too much water is drowning the bugs and bacteria, creating mushy heavy rot, and it causes a horrific smell. Trust me, I've Dude. done this, and it's not pretty, but there is a way to fix this. And that brings us back to step three, rotate the soil. Subscribe for dirt.